Thank goodness this movie came to my area, finally. What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. A movie I've been waiting to talk about for a while now. It's been getting a lot of Oscar buzz, and mainly the story to the movie I didn't know anything about. So I was just flat out excited to see this film. And that movie is I, Tanya, directed by Craig Gillespie and starring Margot Robbie, Sebastian Stan, and Allison Janney. And it of course tells the true story of Tanya Harden. If you don't know the true story of what happens in this movie, I won't reveal what happens because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. I want you guys to see this movie as blind as possible because that's how I saw the film. But if you do know the true story, then you know that this movie is about Tanya Harden, who is a figure skater and she's played by Margot Robbie, and she is the most controversial sports figure for females in the past 20 years. This movie dives into the whole life of Tanya Harden, how she grew up, she had a very abusive life, and she loves figure skating. The movie also focuses on one specific event that happened in Tanya Harden's life. It's very controversial with a figure skater named Nancy Kerrigan. You'll find out what it is when you watch this movie, but this is a biopic. I was just really excited to see it because I'm hearing all my friends talk about this movie and saying it's absolutely fantastic. Margot Robbie gives the performance of her career. I went into this movie thinking, how could they betray such a controversial figure like Tanya Harden? What are my thoughts on I, Tanya, guys? Believe the hype. It's a fantastic film. This movie goes in a lot of weird insane and crazy directions than from what I anticipated. This movie has a lot of dark comedy as well as some violent serious shit that happens in this film. So let's talk about what I loved about I, Tonya. The performances in I, Tonya is what makes this movie as great as it is. Of course starting with the lead actress Margot Robbie. Holy damn, Margot Robbie has proven that she is a phenomenal actress. Because we all know and love Margot Robbie as that sexy actress in The Wolf of Wall Street by Martin Scorsese. She was just eye candy to look at. And in Suicide Squad as Harley Quinn, the most beloved member of the Suicide Squad. But I, Tonya, this is the movie that has proven Margot Robbie can act. Margot Robbie completely transforms into Tanya Harden in this film. I completely believed her from start to finish. She better get nominated for Best Actress or I'm going to flip. She is currently my pick for Best Actress. Now as great as Margot Robbie was, she wasn't the only standout in the film. Gotta talk about Sebastian Stan, the Winter Soldier. Yes, I know, Harley Quinn and the Winter Soldier have a love story. He is such an asshole in this movie to Tanya Harden, but he does have some cool quips to him. He was great as well, but honestly, the one person who completely steals a lot of scenes from Tanya Harden is Allison freaking Janey as her mother. Allison Janey is currently locked right now for that Best Supporting Actress win. She is amazing in this film. She's one of the worst mothers I've ever seen in a film in a while. But oh my god, Allison Janey, man, she kills it in this role. Which brings me to my next positive. It's the story. There's a lot of points in this movie where I'm thinking, how did this even happen? Just the story of seeing Tanya Harden's life, how she grew up in a very abusive household, her mother was abusive, her boyfriend is extremely abusive, and this movie really dives into that extremely well. There is a lot of breaking the fourth wall in this film, just like Deadpool. The whole entire movie is told through a breaking the fourth wall perspective, which I think is the best way to tell this story. At the point where the movie dives into this whole Nancy Kerrigan situation, you're 
feeling really invested by then. And some points in the movie kind of were eh, but you're just invested with the way the movie flowed. This movie has a lot of dark comedy in it and some humor that just makes you laugh out loud. It's like Goodfellas, but in a sports world. So combine sports movie and Goodfellas and you have I, Tanya. Also, this movie didn't feel Hollywoodized. It felt real. And that's what really impressed me and kind of worried me going into this film. How much of this movie was going to get Tanya Harden's life right? And surprisingly, it did feel like it actually happened. And it wasn't just going over the top in front of the cameras, like not making it realistic. I would call this a perfect film. There's only one flaw I had with I, Tonya. There's a couple of characters that are introduced in this movie. They're kind of idiots, and I really didn't find them much investing in the overall film. There's one character in particular that really dragged this movie down for me. You'll know who I'm talking about. Just a lot of his humor and what he does in the film just was like, uh, you kind of lost me there. But either than that, guys, that's my only flaw with I, Tonya. I loved this movie. This is definitely would have been one of my favorite films of 2017 if I would have seen it earlier. This is a fantastic movie, guys. Go see it if it comes to a theater near you because it's going to leave very soon. Once it comes to your area, guys, go see this movie right away. It is definitely worth your time. On my rating scale, I'm going to give I, Tonya a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Fantastic film. Alright guys, that was my review for I, Tonya. Have you guys seen it yet? What did you think of it? Did you love it? Think it was okay? Or did you absolutely hate it? Let me know down below. Thank you guys as always for watching this review. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. Click that notification bell on your way out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!